it's Ashmere from My Beauty Therapy, and welcome to this week's mini sesh. Uh, so today, what I wanted to do is take you through one of my beauty routines that just makes me feel better. I do it at least once a week, sometimes twice. Um, I mean, I kind of have to. It, <laughs> it makes me presentable. Um, but I have actually really learned to love it. So today I'm going to be doing my hair with you. Um, and the thing is, so my hair naturally, um, is naturally curly. I'll throw a picture up somewhere. You'll see it. <laughs> um, but that's my natural hair. Obviously through the years, lots of changes in hair color. I have literally been every color under the sun. Um, and so lots of hair changes, um, lots of heat styling. I went through a phase where I just straightened my hair constantly. Um, this all is pretty much new growth from the last year and a half but it's already pretty darn damaged for all, from all the coloring. So what ends up happening is um, bleaching, changing, every time I change it, it um, you know, causes more damage to the follicle, and so my curl pattern doesn't take as well as it used to. Um, you can see in the back, it's a little bit better. Um, the back of my head is a little healthier. I think A, because um, I don't bleach it as often, because typically I concentrate up here. Um, but also I don't heat style the back as much. Um, so anyway, today I'm going to walk you through what I do to style my hair and get back some of my natural waves. So I'm going to use um, a heat tool, a waver. So this one's new. I just bought it um, just because it was on sale and I'm a junkie. My old one I've had for years, and um, I just figured, let me try a new one. Why not? This is um, the grow out. This is <laughs> this is my hair growing out from a straight mohawk. Up until last summer, I had um, my the top of my hair was growing out pretty long, but I was shaving both sides. You can see this side's longer than this side because I've let this one continuously grow out. This is about a year of growth. The last time I shaved the right side of my head was probably August of 2020, um, where I, I mean, I used to shave my sides completely down to like almost nothing. I think I used to use the guard, like a two on my clippers. So it would go down to almost nothing. So this has been just under a year. It's now May, late May 2021. So it's just under a year of growth. And that's how long it's taken to get my hair to grow all to that. And all of my head was at one point a lot shorter. Um, so yeah, it's been a process. Um, so... Again, because my hair is so damaged, my curl pattern just isn't what it used to be. And I don't like to wear it straight anymore. So I did go through a very long phase. I want to say, um, I want to say it was at least four years where I literally straightened my hair every single day. Um... And I used to wash my hair more often too. So I would wash my hair probably three, maybe four times a week. And that meant that three, maybe four times a week, I was basically frying it. I was um, straightening it. I was blow drying it dry and then taking it with a flat ironing and just pin straight. Um, so it's been about, I want to say it's been about three years since I stopped flat ironing my hair, but the process to grow it, like at that point when I stopped flat ironing my hair, my hair wasn't much longer, but there was no way of salvaging it. So I literally chopped it off 
that's when I shaved. I first shaved one side, and then I ended up shaving the other side. Yeah, I shaved one side, then I shaved the other side, and then I just kept the mohawk going for at least like a good year and a half. I had a straight up mohawk. Um, and then I finally decided, okay, it's time to start letting it grow out. And <laughs> it's been a process about 10 months now. Hmm. Pardon me. So I take this tool and I will section like I did and I'll go ahead and heat and heat set the waves. Um, and then I did use a heat protectant in my hair. Like, so I'm not a professional hairdresser by any means. I know enough to be dangerous. Um, I toyed with going to school a couple of times for cosmetology, but I was already, by the time that idea kind of poked into my brain, I was already a working makeup artist. Ooh. And um, leaving to go back to school for cosmetology when I was making a decent wage and, you know, getting gigs was a really tough decision. So when I didn't make, I did teach myself basic styling tools and tips. And then through the years, through friends, um, colleagues, anybody who like had knowledge that I wanted, I would constantly poke their brain. I have a really good friend who is an excellent hairdresser. In fact, she's the one who did my hair color. And I am constantly going to her and double checking techniques and tips and things that I can do to make sure that, you know, I know what I'm doing. I learned just enough early on in my career. I learned just enough so that I could get booked as a makeup and hairdresser for gigs. So I learned how to style. I never ever cut. I never colored people's hair, but I learned just enough to style, um, maybe do a couple of updos, things like that. Because if you, as a makeup artist, if you can get hired as both a makeup and hair stylist for a gig, you can double your chances of getting booked. People would rather pay one artist instead of two. So, and your pay goes up, obviously, if you're doing the work of two. Doesn't exactly double, but it's definitely, you get more jobs and they're booked at a higher rate. So, so it pays off. So yeah, so I learned just enough to be dangerous, um, <laughs> which means in my hair, what that's happened is first I would test everything on myself, make sure I could do it on me, practice on friends and family, anybody who'd let me get their my hands on them. Um, so yeah, so, but I, I need to be careful. And then that ended up translating to my love of color. So obviously as a, as a makeup artist, I love color. And that really translated into my hair. And, you know, very quickly I started playing with color and teaching myself how to do different things. So I, you know, I learned how to bleach my hair and color my hair and the differences between um, uh, semi-permanent and permanent hair color and developer and all of that good stuff. So, um you know, I, I then would start playing with my own hair color. And I said, I've been every color under the sun. And for many years, that was with no, oh, I can't see what I'm doing at that angle. Okay, good times. Hold on. <laughs> that was with no help from a hairdresser. So I caused a lot of damage on my own. Um, but you know, it's hair. You just chop it off and start over again. It's not that big a deal. Uh, so this is something I consider part of my therapy every single week is sitting down and doing my hair. I love doing my hair. Um, there's something about starting, you know, starting with a mess on the top of my head and, you know, completing it, being done and running my fingers through it and seeing the waves and seeing, you know, how cute the hair looks and even better, I like second day hair 
So I will typically do my hair um, in the evenings or late in the afternoon, something kind of towards the end of my day if I can, if I can finagle it because then once I sleep on my waves overnight, I feel like my hair looks so much better the next day. And then it just keeps looking better as the week goes on. So like five days um, later, I'm still working with the same waves I set in my hair earlier in the week, and I really like it. Um, so this is, we're about halfway through this front part. I know you're like, oh, you've done most of your hair. This front part will take the longest. I have so much hair up here, it's crazy. So, and if I don't section it properly and at the right angles, it starts to look a little cray. Um, so yeah, I, I have to section it properly and then also the right sectioning will give me the right amount of volume in the right places. So, yeah, I like to do that. This iron I really like. Um, it's a little wider than my last one, and it's deeper than my last one. So, with my hair at this length, I only need one pass on it. I don't mind not going straight up to my root um, because that'll actually give me a little bit more flexibility in how I you know, brush my hair, run my fingers through it. And yes, I have a side part. I will always have a side part. I wear my hair over to the right. Um, I've always done it. I don't anticipate stopping. And plus I'm growing out that hair and the new growth on the right, I don't know if you noticed, like I didn't do anything to it. I'm just gonna let it sit. Um, it will, it actually will get a little bit of a wave on its own because it's not quite as damaged because it's so much fresher. Um, so it'll start to wave, but it's so short right now and I've tried to like use a waver and add some texture to it and it ain't cute. Mm -mm. Nope, nope. Nope, it's totally not cute. So I'd rather just leave it as is and move on from there. So, I will say my hair is very much behaving today because it's parting well. <laughs> like, I don't know what's going on. Typically, I get to, like, this stage and, like, the hair stops trying to wave. Like, I have the hardest time. And maybe I just jinxed myself, but we'll see what happens. But, so, yeah. So, I don't know. I love... I like to sit and do my hair. Um, again, it's not something, I only do it like once a week, maybe twice a week if I wash my hair a little more often. Um, so it's not like it's that time consuming. And it'll. I always feel so much prettier when I'm done. My hair is all cute and done. Um, and the best part is, is that feeling continues on for the next like three, four, five days. Because I wake up every day, my hair is already wavy, and I just kind of run my fingers through it, and the messier it is, the better. Because like right now, you know, they look so perfect. Um, it takes a minute to get them a little messy. But yeah, the messier they get, the much better my hair starts to look. And yeah, and again, and, and it's just the halo effect. It's residual. And you know, that's so much fun. It's like when you do your makeup, you feel really good and you have a halo effect for the entire day. At least I do. So when I do my hair, it's a four day halo effect and I just really relish it. Ugh. Wow, it's cooperating so well. It's showing off because I'm recording. Or it's the new iron and it's like, oh yeah, apparently I need a new iron because it's actually working. Mm, we'll see. The other thing I love about wavy hair, 
naturally curly, naturally wavy hair is that it is that fact that like the messier it is and the bigger it is, I think the prettier it looks. That's my personal opinion. And it took me a long time to get there, right? Because for so many years, I wanted just straight hair. I wanted, you know, to have this pretty straight hair that just kind of like fell down my side and cascaded. And I couldn't do that. Like when I straightened my hair, then it just like was straight and flat and no movement because I'd straighten it. And I was like, oh man, it took me a long time to kind of come back to my waves and my curls and be like, I want those back. Of course, by the time I figured that out, I'd basically styled the crap out of them. So this, wow, that did not take long at all. My hair showing off for the new iron works really a lot better than my old one. Um, so this is my hair done. I love the texture. You can still see some of the zigzags in there a little too perfectly. Those will, will split up as I sleep and as I, you know, as it becomes its own. And this is, what I love is like this mimics pretty much my natural wave pattern. Um, especially again, when it's a little bit messier. And the back. I don't actually know what the back looks like. Just FYI, I never ever check the back of my hair. <laughs> Funny story, when I was a kid, I used to uh, brush my hair like once I hit like you know second third fourth grade um, you know I would do my own hair for school in the morning get myself dressed and whatever um, and I would brush my hair and only brush the parts I could see and I never passed a brush through the back of my head so then my mom would come over and be like um we need to brush this and <laughs> I had very loose waves when be like when I was a baby I had ringlets, curly everything. Then I like got older and you know in my childhood my hair went straight. And then I hit puberty and it all curled back up again. Um so I've I've had like every hair texture, but when my hair was straight my, I, you know, my mom loved it because she has naturally curly hair. My sister has curly hair. Everybody has curly hair. And I had, I was the one kid with straight hair and I would only brush the front and she would be like, uh, you can't do that. <laughs> and so she'd brush it and I'd have these knots and everything in the back of my hair and I hated it. Um, and I was like, but it looks fine. You know, and I'd throw it up in a ponytail and she'd be like, oh God. Um, I can only imagine what my hair must have looked like but yeah I don't ever look at the back of my head to be quite honest I um just kind of flush fluff my fingers through it and I go okay that probably looks good and then keep moving and yeah so this is my beauty sesh for the week thank you guys for joining me um like I mentioned like this this is just something I do it for myself obviously I think that when my hair is done and pretty, like I'm much more presentable. Um, it feels way more me when it's big and, and wavy and curly and kind of everywhere. It just feels like it's so much more who I am. Um, and so this kind of sets the mood for the rest, the next few days, you know, it's like my hair looks good. Okay, Whew, I can go now. Um, so this is, yeah, this is it. That's, that's, that's all it does. Um, what do you like to do? Like, do you have like a favorite hair, you know, something that makes you feel more you during your week? Um, cause I know this certainly does, but share it down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. If you want to see me do anything, maybe next time I'll do my non-heat styling method. Um, show you kind of what I do when I, um, I'm trying to be kinder to my locks and not not put any heat on them, um, but still want to get my my waves in. So definitely that would be for another sesh. But again, thank you so much for joining me, and I hope you like and subscribe down below. 
this has been my beauty therapy session for the week. I hope you guys have a wonderful week and you enjoy a session of your own. All right, y'all. Have a great day.